This is a book called The Hug by Owen McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar. And it's a very special book because it's got two parts to it. It starts this way and then if you flip it over, it's another book called The Hug and both parts are called The Hug. So let's start with the talk with the hedgehog. There he is, The Hug. And at the moment we're not allowed to hug. So this is all a book about hugging. But please don't hug your friends, not just at the moment. The Hug. The hedgehog was feeling sad, as sad as a hedgehog can feel. So sad, only one thing can help. Can you guess what that one thing is? I bet you can. You're right, it's a hug. Hello, said hedgehog. Hello, said fox. Please may I have a hug, asked hedgehog. Well, I would love to, replied Fox, but I've just got to go and knock over that bin. Bang! Crash! Splat! I'm feeling quite sad and would very much like a hug, said the hedgehog. Well, I'm too busy counting all of my nuts, replied the squirrel, who only had three nuts. Now I'll have to start again. One, two, three. It's not going to take him very long to count those nuts. I don't think he wants to give Hedgehog a hug, do you? Might you give me just a small hug, begged Hedgehog. Well, perhaps after I sing my song, replied the magpie, which is quite long. Squawk, 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 squawk. Why will no one hug me? The hedgehog sniffed. You're just a bit tricky to hug replied Al, with all your prickly prickles. But don't worry, there's someone for everyone. So they all don't want to hug that lovely hedgehog. Because of his prickles, I wouldn't want to hug a hedgehog, would you? Now I'm even more sad, said hedgehog. Will I ever find someone to hug? And that's when... They met the hedgehog and the tortoise. And that's when they, what do you think the next page is going to say? When they hugged, look and the book goes really long. As happy as a hug can make you, as happy as two people can be. Ah. Isn't that lovely? Now that's the end of that story. And now what we have to do is we have to close the book. That was one side, that story we've just read, haven't we? No one wanted to hug the hedgehog because she was too prickly. And now we get the story by the same people and it's called The Hug and it's all part of the same book. And this is the story from the tortoise's point of view and he wants a hug too. The Hug. Hello, tortoise. Well, hello, said Badger. Might you be able to give me a big hug? Asked the tortoise. Oh, I'm really sorry, but my hands are sticky, replied Badger. Mm. Slurp, guzzle, slurp. Might I trouble you for a small hug? asked the tortoise. Well, not right now, said Rabbit. Unfortunately, I'm digging a very important hole. Um, do you have time for a quick hug? asked the tortoise. Oh, not today, replied the frog. Sorry, but I have to jump over there now. Boing! Look, he's jumped off the page. Didn't even catch him to film. 
because he's gone. Cheeky frog. Oh, why will no one hug me? Said the, asked the tortoise. Oh, well, it's your shell, replied Owl. It's just so very hard. But don't worry. There's someone for everyone. Now I'm even more sad, said the tortoise. Will I ever find someone to hug? And that's when... Do you remember him from the last little book? They... Met! And that's... When they... Hugged! We remember this picture, don't we, in this great big page? As happy as a hug can make you and as happy as two people can be. Oh, they are such good friends, the tortoise and the hedgehog. And that's the story of The Hug by Ian McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.